So, how's everyone doing? Um, just wanted to kind of keep up with what I started doing a couple months ago, which was just make these little video updates and let people know where I was and what was going on and and how I was uh, getting on with the, the hectic schedule and all the travel and everything. So, but I stopped. I think the last time I did one of these was April uh, in Peru. And uh, since April, life has been just a total whirlwind. Uh, I was doing a project in Canada for two months. I uh, was in Nepal, back and forth to New York a few times. And now just preparing um, to go to Italy uh, to continue shooting uh, Extreme Treks, which is one of the shows I work on uh, that's on Discovery Channel. So, yeah, it's been, been pretty intense, that's, uh, that's for sure. But um, wow, what a what a ride! What an enjoying uh, couple months it's really been. I think having uh, having a chance to do a project in Canada was was really unique. I did um, a motorcycle trip across Canada. It was seventy one days, twenty one thousand kilometers, which was no small task, and it was unlike anything really I've ever done at any time, ever. Uh, I've never ridden a motorcycle across a first world country before. Um, I've never had the chance to really explore my home country. I was born in Toronto, Canada, so these things uh, are important to me and and getting a chance to kind of go home or go back to Canada and make a show like that was uh, incredibly fulfilling, really exciting and an opportunity I really cherish and uh, hopefully it'll lead to more opportunities to continue to do some filming in in Canada in the near future and uh, we're working on that a little bit at the moment so fingers crossed I'll have a chance to get back to Canada someday and what else is going on um, I went to Nepal for the first time we filmed uh, one of my episodes of Extreme Treks in Nepal and it was epic uh, really like Nepal I was in Kathmandu for a few days and then we went up to um, the Mustang Kingdom the Kingdom of Lo and walked through what was basically a high altitude desert for a week and it was inspiring. Uh, Nepal's amazing, the people are fantastic, the food's incredible, the landscape uh, is is really something and it was uh, definitely a highlight of the year for me, I really enjoyed it. The Extreme Trek series is really close to my heart because I love walking and I love trekking and it's a truly peaceful thing for me and I really enjoy just being centered and having nothing to really focus on or distract me and just to be able to walk and it's my way of kind of disconnecting from the world and, and being out in the wilderness and and you combine that with the fact that we have this opportunity to make television and it's uh, it's just such a, a wonderful opportunity and I feel so lucky and privileged uh, to be able to go out and do it and then this year you know in january we climbed mount kilimanjaro in tanzania that was episode one and then i went out to the atlas mountains that was episode two that was in morocco uh, and then i came back and went to uh, i crossed the part of the taklamakan desert in northwest china uh, which was bleak the desert was tough then uh, glacier national park in montana incredible that was just a lot of fun and then after that, we went to Peru. We did a big trek uh, in the Salkantay uh, region, which is near Machu Picchu, again, a world-class trekking destination. Then I uh, took some time off and did my Canada project. And then uh, did went up to the Mustang Kingdom uh, in Nepal. So just incredible. And now I'm going to Italy, northern Italy. We're going to be in the Cortina area uh, doing a big trek. And then I'm on holiday in Dubai for about a week. And then I'm filming in Oman um, for a week, uh, maybe 10 days. Uh, we're going to be doing a big trek across Oman. So, And that's going to wrap up the eight episodes for Extreme Trek Season 2. So it's, um, wow, it's all happening really fast. But that's kind of where I am. That's what I've been up to since the last time I updated everyone. I think um, television production-wise, we're kind of coming towards the end of the year. I've done a lot of filming this year. By the end of this year, we will have made about 13 hours of television, uh, which is a lot. Uh, it's been a long haul, but man, uh, what a great problem to have is too much television to make. 
and uh, and we've definitely had a lot of fun making it. But now, uh, as the year kind of winds down to an end, this is where I get busy uh, on the lecture tour. Uh, I'll be giving a lot of talks all around the world, uh, starting in October. And uh, you can go to my Facebook page and, and check out you know the events and the schedules and stuff like that. They're all listed there. I'll also be updating uh, that list and uh, and continuing hopefully with these video updates as we move forward. But I just wanted to reach out to everyone and say thanks again for following. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to just chat with everyone like this. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave them in the comment box uh, underneath uh, the video and I'll do my best uh, to get back to everyone. So. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, it's already Tuesday night here in China. I'm finally at home in Shanghai, uh, which is a great place to be. But uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy my Tuesday night, and I hope uh, you all enjoy the rest of your week. And hopefully it won't be too much longer until I can do one of these. I want to do them more regularly. So uh, I just need a little bit more discipline and a little bit more downtime. But uh, thank you all, and we'll catch up soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.